In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the infrastructure and workload automation using the Nephew platform. And to start with, I will give a high level overview of the Nephew platform. Nephew is a Kubernetes based automation platform and Nephew is an intent driven automation platform. The users are required to specify high level intents in order to create infrastructure, deploy workloads and perform day and configurations of these workloads. Nephew platform leverages the Kubernetes declarative and actively reconciled methodology principle. This slide shows the Nephew control plane at a high level. Nephew control plane will consist of Kubernetes operators and there will be operators for the deployment and management of the workloads and there will be different operators for performing the day and configurations. For example, there could be a Kubernetes operator which can perform 3GPP compliant O1 configurations to the target network functions. With that high level in introduction, we can look at the main components of the Nephew platform. KPT is the package manager in the Nephew platform and KPT manages the, the packages which are KRM bundles. KPT follows the configuration as data approach and it separates the code that acts on the data from the package itself. KPT package consists of KRM files which define the Kubernetes objects that are to be created. There is a, and along with that, there is a KPT file, which is a KRM resource, it, which is a KRM resource itself. And this KPT file defines the metadata of the package. And this KPT file also defines a pipeline to mutate and curate the packages. The configuration of the KRM resources is done by the KPT functions. And the pipelines that are defined in the KPT files consist of these functions. This slide, this slide shows a very simple example of a pipeline which consists of a mutator which uses a set label function and if we render such function in a KPT package, it will set labels to all the KRM files in that package. Porch manages the lifecycle of the KPT packages. We can register repositories like Git and OCI with the Porch and Porch will automatically discover all the packages in these repositories and then Using ports, we can perform operations like cloning a package, modifying it and pushing it to another repository. Ports also defines the lifecycle of a package, which, which is basically creating a package in draft stage, followed by proposing and approving that package. And the approved package go into a published state, which can be deployed. The packages which are curated by Porch as per the user intent are pushed to the target repositories. Now we need an agent in the Nephew control plane as well as in the target clusters, which should reconcile the configurations in these packages. Config sync keeps reconciling the KPT packages that are pushed by Porch. In this demonstration, we are going to create infrastructure using the Nephew platform. The infra that we are going to create is an EKS cluster and we are going to use the AWS controller for Kubernetes for that. We have created a KPT package which consists of KRMs which define the AWS resources. Followed by the infrastructure, we are going to demonstrate a workload orchestration using a simple application which is called the caching DNS application. In this high level intent, we are going to show the placement intent as well as the day zero configuration intent. This slide shows the high level flow of the demo. The top layer shows the nephew controller and we are now already familiar with Porch and Config Sync. AWS ACK is the controller from AWS uh, which will create the EKS resources in AWS. Along with that we have two, two other controllers which, which are the nephew controller and nephew infra, infra controller. Nephew controller will reconcile the, the infra and workload intents which are specified by the user. The intents are specified as a deployment package custom resource. And in the infra intent, the user is going to specify a source repo which is hosting the AWS EKS KPT package. As part of the reconciliation, the nephew controller will clone the KPT package from the private catalog repo apply mutations on it and push it to the infra deployment repo. Infra deployment repo is configured in the config sync which is present in the nephew controller. Now config sync is going to reconcile to these packages which are pushed by the porch 
and as a result of this reconciliation the air controllers will start creating the eks cluster in aws once the eks cluster is created we have to set up this eks cluster for workload automation for automating this step there is another controller in the there is another controller in the nephew cluster and it is called as the nephew infra controller this controller keeps watching the state of the eks cluster which is created and when the eks cluster comes to a ready state it deploys the config sync in the eks cluster and and it fetches the and it fetches the target repo for this eks cluster from the infra intent that was specified by the user and it configures the config sync to sync packages from this repo at this point the target eks cluster is ready to sync the workload packages now the user specified the second intent which is the workload intent and this workload intent has the placement and day zero configuration intent the nephew cluster as part of the reconciliation of this intent finds the suitable cluster and the corresponding repo and based on the cluster's capability it performs mutations on the base package and applies the scaling profile which the target cluster can handle after performing the mutations it pushes the curated package to the edge repo and the config sync that is present in the eks cluster is configured to sync packages from this repo and as a result the config sync will sync the workload package and that will result in the deployment of the workload in the eks cluster and the nephew controller is generic and it is not aws specific it can handle the krm packages of ack kcc or crossplane so this is the aws console and we can see that to start with there is no eks cluster so i am logged into the nephew control plane and in this window i am going to start the nephew controller after starting the nephew controller first i am going to specify the infrastructure intent so as we see the intent is simple and all we are specifying is the is the source repository and the package the package name and the version and the type of the package which is infra in this case at this point the controller should have pushed the package to the to the deployment repo and it should be in the proposed state so this is the new package that is pushed by uh, pushed by the controller and we see that it is in proposed state we can approve this now as soon as this this package is approved the config sync which is present in the nephew controller plane will start syncing this kpd package and that will trigger the creation of the eks cluster we see that the creation of the eks cluster has started it takes 12 to 15 minutes for this eks cluster to be created and once the eks cluster is created the nephew infra controller will basically deploy the config sync in the eks cluster and make it ready for the workload orchestration but in the meanwhile we can specify the workload intent as part of the workload intent we are specifying the placement intent which is the region specification as us central one the source repository where the workload package is present and the name of the workload package is the core dns caching scaled revision as one the package type now is workload we saw that the yaml specified the placement intent and the day zero configuration as i have explained is dependent on the target cluster that is chosen we can look at the kubernetes object which contains the properties of the which contains the properties of the target cluster and based on that property the nephew controller will apply the scaling profile 
in the caching DNS uh, in the caching DNS KPT package. This Kubernetes object is part of the KPT package that is synced by config sync. See that this cluster has this property which is called the scaled profile name and that is small, medium, fixed. And based on this profile, the nephew controller will configure the caching DNS KPT package. Now we can apply the workload intent. As part of this intent specification, nephew controller would have found the EKS cluster that we created as the suitable cluster for this and it would have pushed the kpt package to the git repo which is associated with the eks cluster this is the package which is pushed to the repo edge one and it is in proposed state we can approve this Now this package is in approved state and uh, now whenever our EKS cluster is ready and the config sync is deployed in this EKS cluster, the config sync as I described will be configured to sync packages from the repo edge one. So it should automatically sync this workload package and we will see the caching DNS application de deployed in the EKS cluster. And for that we have to wait for 10, 10 to 12 minutes. At this point we can go and check the status of the EKS cluster and the workload. We see that the EKS cluster has come to an active state. And caching DNS is the application that we had deployed via the workload intent. So this concludes the demo and we saw how we can automate the infrastructure and workload intent by specifying simple intents using the nephew controller. Thank you.